So it's almost like your angels are saying, take a break, go golfing, go have fun. Take the love of your life. You've been hit, you've been hit, you've been taking the hits, Leo. Hey there, Leo. How are you? It's your forest fair here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the 100 Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So, let's get an oracle card to set the tone of the read. And this is my Aries deck. And all the decks will be in the description box below. And I'm excited to introduce your deck. I have decided to bring back a deck for each zodiac sign. And that's how I op or launched, I was gonna say opened up this channel, but this is how I launched the channel. And then I took a hiatus because um, we were just overworked. 16 edited videos a week was too much. We took the rest of the summer off, came back in September, and I was working with, um, and in, as you can see in the other reads, my favorite deck combination, which was the life, uh, Game of Life deck and uh, the Dream deck. So let's get one Oracle card to set the tone. And of course, it's a general read. Take it resonates, leave the resonance for all Leo placements. Right there, I am beautiful. Leo, I think you got this last time. Bottom of the deck. I am happy. Leo, I love to see this for you. Absolutely, 100%. You are beautiful. Inside and out. And you're happy. So let's, let's get to the tarot. Now, I am using my Stardust deck as the main deck. And for your uh, deck, I have chosen the Birth of Freedom Tarot. It's an it's a very much a Norman Rockwell inspired deck, and the images, the the, the artwork is just absolutely beautiful, just like you, Leo. That's why it's your deck. It has a very much a childlike sense to it, which I love. And I my grandmother used to have a Rockwell years ago, years and years. I can remember as a child going through the uh, the the calendar. Then she kind of switched to cat calendars, but I remember the Rockwell one. Look at you're showing up for your read right there. The sun, you are happy. That which you might not see underneath the Oracle deck is you are happy. I am happy, says Leo. And there you are, the sun, your major. The queen of wands, the fire queen. Aries energy, higher self. Six of cups. This could be a, a, a soul mate that your higher self is reminding you, this is your soulmate. Four of Swords, your focus on foundation. Rest your mind, rest your body, good for you, Leo, and really focus in on your happiness. High Priestess is in the recent past. I'm gonna say this really feels silent, that your happiness feels silent. Okay, moving forward. Judgment, waking up waking up to your happiness how other people are no how you see yourself as the three of cups how other people see you being patient with the temperance there's a lot there's there's a lot of fire on this table hope and fear seven of swords and the outcome the potential outcome is the knight of cups that's your creativity that's also your romance that's fifth house that's your house that's romance that's sweet words and success, look at you. You got your major and your minor. That which you might not see is your own success with the Six of Wands. Leo, I'm gonna shuffle these, because I absolutely love this deck. And I've already recorded one um, reading for you, Leo, but man, I went on and on and on. It was well over 30 minutes, so I'm not going to post that. <laughs> Too much talking about the cards because I absolutely love these cards. I do, I do, I do. So, so I gave them to you. Um, you and Taurus were the last two decks I had to decide on, and it was tough. Clarifying the sun is the five of wands. The five of wands and judgment, which we have in the near future. This feels like people don't want you to be happy. 
when you are happy and you express it, and maybe that's why in the recent past with the high priestess, you're not really p posting, telling, um, expressing your, and I'm going to say extreme happiness. I'm going to say this sun card really feels like to the max. It could very well be, especially with this Aries queen uh, crossing it, this, this, uh, it very much feels like when you are happy and you post it, you express it, you tell people, they kind of hit you in the gut. Like they, it's almost like an attack feeling with this vibe of wands. Still very playful, but it's like almost like a backhanded compliment, right? Like where they'll say, oh yeah, I'm so happy for you, Leo, except for, or only if. Or then they bring it upon themselves to say, oh, I wish I was as happy as you. Um, and they're comparing and contrasting with this judgment card. It really feels like trying to reach these heights of happiness when it's clarifying the sun that they are unable to reach. They are unable to reach what it is that you've got. Six of cups, your higher self, is clarified by the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Now, I'm going to put the two of pentacles right above this five of wands. And this five of wands is unsolicited opinions. This five of wands is usually a bunch of people battling with wands. And in this particular deck, it's just one. And you could know this person. It could be a fire queen, um, another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. We've got Sagittarius as other people looking at you as being patient. With this um, energy of, I don't want to say attack. It's more of a a playful competition almost like this like joking not joking kind of you know how people speak the truth through jokes and then they go oh just joking and you're just kind of like mm, not really you just like in in my face <laughs> backhanded me like what are you talking about and here it is the ace of pentacles i really feel that with this ace of pentacles and I have the Three of Cups, and there's three individuals in this Ace of Pentacles. I really feel that some of you have um, a, the love of your life, a really loving relationship with the Six of Cups. You're balancing out work and home and, and kids and um, spouse. You're, you're, you're balancing everything out, right, with the Two of Pentacles and making it fun. Again, this deck is full of fun. And your higher self is saying, get back into that energy. Get back into what you're building. Get back into the opportunities that you have, that you know that are right for you, that are making you happy. And ignore this. King of Wands. We have the King and the Queen of Wands. There you are, Leo. Getting ready to go golfing. Look at this. Look at this guy. This this guy has put in a lot of work. He's closing up shop. And he's going golfing. This is you taking a rest. You've done a lot of work and it's now time, as the cards are saying, to go play. And the Knight of Wands. We've got so much fire on here. This Knight of Wands, do you see how this image with the Five of Wands, he's been hit. And now it's time for his uh, sweetheart, Six of Cups, to take care of him. When he's been knocked down, when he's been hit, that could be, and I, that could be you. These are just energies, Leo. That's you taking care of your own. That's you taking care of your six of cups, the love of your life, the um, number one person in your life. And they're taking care of you when you've been hit, when you've been knocked down. So now it's time to get up again and go play. High Priestess, you could be dealing with another, um, Leo, I got Pisces on the table, and uh, Sagittarius as far as the majors. High Priestess, what are you not saying? What are you keeping quiet? Leo, ooh, you are keeping quiet which way you're going to go. You are looking at a path change in the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, dreaming about where they'd like to go, who they'd like to share their life with. And this is a very dreamy, new, fresh, listening to the whispers of your angels. 
keeping it all quiet because whatever you dream about, whatever you think about, and do you notice how this like little angel, he's got his, um, I guess it would be a sheath. Is it a, called a sheath where you hold your, your arrows? But it very much reminds me and brings me back to this uh, golf club bag. So it's almost like your angels are saying, take a break, go golfing, go have fun. Take the love of your life. You've been hit, you've been hit, you've been taking the hits, Leo. And you're still happy and you're still joyful and you're still looking into the future. You're still trying to wake up, let's say, your friends, your family, your coworkers of what is really happening. You've been taking the hits. Let her take care of you. Let them take care of you. Let the love of your life take care of you. Keep it quiet. As to where you're gonna go with the two of wands, you're um, on the high ground. With this, with this two of wands, you're on the top of, let's say, above all of the five of wands, all of the um, trials and tribulations. You're, you're above all that. And you're moving forward. Judgment. We've got it twice. Queen of Cups, there's that Pisces energy. Pisces Cancer. She's looking like she needs a vacation as well. And the Nine of Cups. And this is your wish fulfillment. This is what you've been wishing for. You're waking up to your wish. It could be a water queen, Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Um, that that really is your dream come true. And you're waking up to this. Three of Cups. This could also, this Queen of Cups could also be a really good friend that you're, you're waking up to. Five of Cups. You see yourself as, as I'm going to say being a little clumsy, being a little like learning how to. With the, we had him, but the knight, let's pull him down. With the knight of cups, how to be romantic, how to be, um, I'm going to say, more emotional, more uh, speaking from the heart. You've got a big heart, Leo, and this is, if you've got a water queen that you are working with, that you are in love with, that you are building a life and a family with, this is about, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm clumsy. This looks like clumsiness where you might be disappointed. They might be disappointed about how much love and romance is in your lives. Let's see what else we have here. And so you're taking a leap of faith with this and having fun. I see this fool card is just having fun with your friend and going, oh, sorry, I missed on that one. Or, oh, I, I was trying to. And, and you can see how other people are really seeing you try hard to be romantic, to be um, what it is that is expected of you. And at the same time, you're still silly with that fool card. How other people see you. And clarifying the temperance card is that Knight of Cups. And do you see how the, the female is going, okay, you've, you've got the dinner, we've, we've had a beautiful picnic, we're all dressed up, ready to go. And she, again, she very much looks like a Pisces to me because she's reading your palm. She's telling you stories. In this Five of Cups, with your attempt at um, trying to impress, it annoyed, right? She's exhausted, especially if she has a little one. Be patient. People are being patient with you, Leo. You're being patient with the ones that you love. Yes, and there it is, the Two of Cups. Being patient with this relationship. Being patient with how you express your love. Seven of Swords. You're hoping or fear. You are fearful that there's lies involved. Strength. There you are. We started out with Leo. And your hope and or fear is that you aren't enough. But have the strength to work through those lies. Those are lies you're telling yourself. And the Seven of Pentacles. Keep up. And again, I really see the Seven of Pentacles as kind of being real in clown world. Clown world is, is among us. It really is. And if you have found someone in clown world with being in clown world that really speaks to you, that you speak to them, that this Two of Cups, have patience. Um, don't be quick to sort of get back online, find someone else, um, because I really feel that this Two of Cups and the Six of Cups um, is really speaking to me of, of you taking a leap of faith on someone that your intuition says, 
will take care of you. This intuition says you got to take a different path. And it could be that leaving that um, path of what looks good for what feels good is what I'm really picking up. Knight of Cups, and we have it here, as other people see you as the Knight of Cups. Oh, Leo, <laughs> this little Eight of Cups, leaving that which has not worked out, right? That's Five of Cups, the, the emotional disappointments. And having success with a brand new Ace of Wands now. Do you see how this Ace of Wands Right beside this strength card, it's almost like a, um, a fake it till you make it type of energy. That if you're not really the romantic type, if you're just like, come on, let's go do this, right? And let's go do something. And that's how you show your love. It's kind of like how earth signs with whatever you do for them, the work that you put into them, that's their love language. What is your love language? And if you're dealing with a water queen or a water king, I see water queen, water on here, Pisces in particular, if you're dealing with a water queen and your elements are not meshing, this is where the temperance card, it's taking two elements, both fire and water, and really making them work together. And this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups is trying really hard to figure out the, let's say, the water queen's um, love language. And I think that if you walk away from this these expectations that either you or the Water Queen has put on you and really saying, no, I'm Leo. This is me. This is who I am. I'm fire, right? You're the water. We can work together with this temperance card and we will have success. And clarifying that six of wands, look at this. Clarifying the six of wands is the four of wands. This is your home. This who feels like home to you, Leo, Whoever this is, that you is your six of cups, two of cups, this person feels like home. And that's what I love to see. It feels like home. Mm. And you'll have success. I almost feel right beside this two of wands that you're making a move. And it could be um, to move from where you live to somewhere completely new. I'm seeing north and south here. It could be you're moving north of where you live or further south. I'm feeling north for some of you. So let's get some angel numbers on this. And with my um, um, Stardust deck, it's very easy for me to see. I see 664 and 646. Let's do 646 first. 646 for my Leap of Leo's. Angels are encouraging you to take time to breathe and contemplate where you are before proceeding further. That's the two of wands right there. You are reminded that carefulness and patience, temperance, are qualities of spirit. I see 664. Let's do 664 right here. Angel wisdom is encouraging you to listen to the voice of your soul. And we saw that right there. Clarifying the high priestess is that page of cups. That's the voice of your soul. Yes, with regard to those you are choosing to surround yourself with at this time. And it's right beside that five of cups. Anyone that, that take, tries to take you down away from your happiness, make a judgment call right there. It's, it's very clear. I see... Um, let's do 673. 673, Leo, and we'll wrap this up. Your spirit has created a wave of grace that is clearing and lighting up your path. Sun card right there. Your journey to manifesting is unfolding perfectly. And that's what I see for you, Leo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your force fairy. Bye for now.